Hey, are you ready for some number sense? Today, in this video, I'm going over number sense test A, UIL number sense test A from 2020. And I'm going to go through problems 1 through 20. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you some bonus problems and uh, problems in the 30s maybe 31 32 33 34 35 somewhere in there so go ahead and watch the whole video and we'll have some bonus problems at the end and uh, without further ado let's move on to number one okay problem number one 2020 plus 110 minus 20 i can cancel this 20 with that 20 so i have 2000 plus 110 that's 2110 1957 divided by 19. 19 into 19 is 1, and then 0, and 19 into 57 is 3, so that would be 103. Number 3, 3.8 times 1.1. Think of 38 times 11, so you're going to have 8 for your last digit, and then 3 plus 8 is 11, carry a 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. Now, remember you have to move back 1 here, and one there, two decimal places, so it'd be 4.18. Number four, 16 squared, that's 256. Make sure you memorize your squares. They do come out quite a bit. One and four fifths is 1.8. As a percent, that's 180. 1.8 times 100. Number six, two and two thirds plus three and five six. So the two-thirds is 4 over 6, plus 5 over 6, that's 9 over 6, carry a 1. So I'm gonna, I am gonna I can't write 9 over 6, I have to reduce that. So 9 over 6 is 1 and 1 half, so write the 1 half, carry a 1. So then I have 2 plus 3 plus my carry, that's going to be what, 6? The LCM for 48 and 63. Well... You're going to have uh, 9 times 7, and here you have 3 times 16. So looks like 3 goes into both of those. So your greatest common factor is 3. So if I divide this by 3, I get 16, and then multiply that times 63. Now, I'm showing notes here, and I'm marking on the test. Now, you're not allowed to mark on the test. You're only allowed to write the correct answer, since this is number sense, a mental math contest. So what we're going to do is 16 times 63. And so you're going to have 16 times 3 is 48. Carry a 4. 16 times 6 is 96. Plus the 4 is 100. Um, you could have also done uh, divide the 63 by 3 and you get 21. 21 times 48. And you would get the same result. Number 8. 5 plus 10 is 15. And then over here you have 15 times 20 divided by 25. So I'm going to divide by 5 here and divide by 5 here because I'm dividing by 25. So I'm going to have 4 times 3. This is 12. So 15 minus 12, the answer is 3. Number 9. Whenever you have 1 fourth and 3 fourths, these fractions add up to 1. There's a little shortcut for that. You can multiply 1 fourth times 3 fourths. You get 3 sixteenths. And then you increase this one by 1. 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 and 3 sixteenths is the answer for number 9. Okay, moving right along to number 10. Number 10 is the start problem, which is an approximation. So I can round off. So I'm looking at um, this one and this one. I'm going to have negative 2,500, so I'm going to subtract 2,500 here, and I'll forget about the 19. 67 minus 25 is 42, so I have 4,200 plus 2,000, that's 6,200, and that's right, well within the range of plus or minus 5%. Number 11, 18 times 81, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do 18 times 1 is 18, carry a 1, 18 times 8 is 4, 144, plus the 1 would be 145, so 1,458. Now, another way of doing this, you could also do 8 times 1 is 8, 
and then you could do the outer and the inner like you're doing foil 64 plus 1 is 65 carry a 6 and then you multiply 1 times 8 that's 8 plus the 6 that we carry that's 14 1458 was the answer number 12 you have quartz minus pints and you want the answer in cups okay so you need to know that uh, two cups is a pint and two pints is a quart so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor out a three because I have three here and three there. So one quart minus a pint is one pint and one pint is equal to two cups. So two times three, that would give you six cups. 20% of 40 is eight. The zeros cancel with the percent. So two times four is eight. Eight minus 60 is a negative 52. Negative 52, eight minus 60. Number 14 is a remainder dividing by three. And so anything that adds up to three can be thrown out. I see a one here and a two there, and a one there and a two there. Those all cancel out because I'm dividing by three, so I have remainder zero. In other words, that number is a multiple of three. It's divisible by three. Four hearts cost $2.14, and six hearts will cost how much? So I can reduce the four and the six. That'll be two here and three there. So four is to six is the same as two is to three. So I'm going to divide two into 214. That's 107 times three would be 321. So the answer was $3.21. Number 16, we have a Roman numeral and we want to convert that to Arabic numerals. M is a thousand. C, C is 100, C before D, D is 500. So C before D, you subtract 100 from 500. So you're going to have 1,400. So I have 1,400. And then I have L, X, that's 60. 50 plus 10, that's 60. I, X is a 9. So 1,469. Number 17. 19 is what percent less than 25? The difference is 6, so 6 out of 25 is what percent? So if I multiply this by 4 in the denominator, multiply by 4 in the numerator, I get 24 over 100, which is 24%. So the answer there was 24%. 48 squared, 2,304. If you haven't memorized that, uh, you could work this out. You could add 2 to the... 48 and subtract 2 from 48. That's going to give you 46. And then you have to compensate for that plus 2 minus 2. So I have to add 2 squared. So 2 squared is 4. That's where this 4 comes from. And then I'm going to have 46 times 5. This 0 will be replaced with a 4 at the end here. So 46 times 5 is 230. And then you have your 4. So 2,304. That's the end of the first column. Let's move on to the second column. By the way, if you like problems like these, if you like learning shortcuts and number sense and mental math, go ahead and hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And if you want to get notifications, make sure you hit the bell next to the notifications, next to the subscribe button. Okay, in second column number 19, 24% of 137 and a half. That looks like a tough problem, but you can move the percent around. That's the same thing as 137.5% times 24. And that 37.5%, you recognize that as 3 eighths. So this is 1 and 3 eighths. So that would be 11 eighths times 24. So 8 and 24 is 3, and 3 times 11 is 33. So for number 19, the answer was 33. Uh, number 20 is an approximation, so you're going to have 400 times 500 minus 2,000. That's what it's going to be. And so, notice you're going to have four zeros, and you're going to have three zeros here. So, four times five is 20. 20 with four zeros would be about 200,000. So I'm going to have 200,000 minus 2,000. 
200,000 minus 2. So I'm going to have your thousands. 200 minus 2 is 198,000. And that's almost an exact. So here you have to be careful with your zeros. So uh, you're going to have 4, 20 with 4 zeros. The same thing as 200,000. Right? 20 with 4 zeros, 200,000. So minus 2,000 would be 198,000. Okay, let's look at our bonus problems here. Where are our bonus problems? They're at the bottom of column two. Let's take a look at those. Number 32, 87 equals P plus Q, where P equals Q plus 13, find Q. Uh, this is nothing than uh, systems equations. If I subtract Q here, I'm gonna have P minus Q is equal to 13. And so all you do is add those two together, and you get 100 is 2P. So P is 50. So Q, we're looking for Q. Q would be 87 minus 50, which would be 37. Number 33, find the smallest integer K, where K is greater than 1, such that 5K plus 2 is a perfect cube. So your perfect cubes, make sure you memorize those, 1, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube. So we're looking for something like that, 5 cube, and so on. <clears throat> so k has to be greater than 1, so you can try a 2. Uh, 2 times 5 plus 2, that's not going to work. Try a 3. 5 times 3 is 18 plus 2, that's not going to work. Try a 4, it would be 22. Try a 5. If k is 5, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 gives us... 27. So that means 33k is 5. Number 34. Number 34 is a repeating decimal 2.3444. You want the answer as a mixed number, so it's going to be 2 and a fraction. So if you have 0.3444 repeating, this is going to be the same thing as only the 4 is repeating, the 3 is not. The 3 is fixed, so only this part's repeating. So you're going to have 34 minus the first digit, 3, over 90. And 34 minus 3 is 31, so that would be 31 over 90. So if you have something like 0 0.1333 3 repeating, then that would be 13 minus 1 over 90. That's 12 over 90, which has to be reduced. If you reduce this by 6, you're going to have 2 fifteenths. Now, that's different than 0 0.13, 13, 13 repeating. Because now the 13 is the only two digits repeating. That would be 13 over 99. I think most of you know that one. So, notice that this is different than that one. Two different problems. So, number 34 was 2 and 31 over 90. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And uh, uh, I want to just give you my email in case you have any questions or leave comments in the comments section. And uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, if you have any problems that are difficult or you need some more videos, let me know if I can help you. I know some of you are trying to learn more number sense as you prepare for your next competition. Uh, keep practicing, keep watching the videos, keep learning, and it wouldn't hurt to hurt to watch some of these videos more than once. Go back through them, take some notes, take some tests, go back and take the test. So this is a 2020 test A. So maybe tomorrow or the next day you can take this test for practice and see how you do. You should get the first 20 correct, I'm sure. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. And uh, we will see you in the next video.